Oh, this is the first time I've actually gotten this trader. Hey guys, welcome to episode 16. Um, this episode we're going to go to the trader because I want to get this off the screen. And then also I'm going to try and pick up all three drop chests that we have left. We have quite a few. This one here, there and there. I'm going to try and do as little as possible in between. Also as you guys can see I have a better quality tool. Uh, I was upgrading, look at all the grass I had to use. I was uh, making a, uh, an insane amount of stone axes just to get this up. And I actually had to smelt a bit of stuff like gun parts and scrap iron and everything just to be able to get the steel for this. Okay, so let's get going. Also, um, while I have you guys' attention, uh, it has come to my attention that my quality for my videos has been quite low. Even on 1080p, you could see quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of difference between other YouTubers and me. So what I'm doing now is... Um, my videos are that bad because I use handbrake to insanely de decrease the size of the folders. But for now, I'm going to try and do the preset, uh, the encoder, a little bit slower so it gets better quality. And also I'm going to put the handbrake a lot lower. So the file sizes are going to go up a bit. I'm going to try, I'm gonna try and go from between 1 to 1.5 gigabyte to about 3 gigabyte usage per video. I don't want to go over that because otherwise my data usage for the month is going to be way too high. This episode I want to get, uh, make sure not to get sidetracked. Last episode I wanted to get all these boxes and I ended up looting places. Ooh, bear. Uh, we'll leave it for now. There's no mission for the bear on us at the moment anyways. Wait, what is this house? Oh, it's not on the map. I'll just have to remember to come back to all these places off camera. Who knows, perhaps we're lucky enough to actually find a town this episode while we're collecting all the boxes. And then again, that's just wishful th uh, thinking on my part. Okay, so it's been a while since I've been here, so there's going to be a lot of zombies in the area. All the stuff I don't need, I'm just going to scrap. Okay, so let's just scrap these. We're not using a bow anymore. Nope, put that away. And then what else can we ditch? Ah, the brash is still in here. Uh, let's just quickly put a few things in the bike to make some space. Okay, um, I also want to see if we got all the gravel in this area. If not, I want to set this instead of a drop chest to a gravel area. Nope, still gravel here. Yeah. So let's just move this away. It's not a drop chest anymore. But there's gravel. There's a forge house, but I can't remember if we actually got it or not. Okay, uh, let's see. There's more space in us now, so we can do more. Uh, scrap all the unwanted. Okay, so all of this we're keeping. On to the next one. And that's on the left. As soon as I get a proper wrench, I want to start taking apart cars. Hopefully by then my quality Joe is at max, because then I'll be able to get purple parts for my uh, knee bike. It's already this fast, just imagine it's all purple. Also the bonus in how I'm doing this now is that after we get the drop chests, we can mostly sell almost all of it at the trader. It's amazing how much faster we're getting stuff done now that we have a proper mini bike, or at least a mini bike in general. Usually it will take almost a whole episode just to run here. Ooh, so much crap that I don't need. All the clothes I'm just going to leave here. It's actually how lit uh, amazing how little we actually need from this place. I mean, all of this that's left we can just leave... Oh, the guns. We still need to take the guns. So let's just quickly drop everything in the mini bike if there's space. Wow, that opens up quite a bit of space. Uh, let's just do this and get everything else. I 
Okay, so basically all these we can just scrap. Since it's mostly just the orange parts. Machete also, this we can drop. There wasn't even any need to make space. And on the map we take away this drop chest and aim for the next one. Rounding up all these chests uh, is taking so much faster than I actually thought it would. At this rate we'll be able to sell everything at the trader and look for the uh, town before the end of the episode. So we're getting so much done. Also hopefully we get time to just uh, talk a little bit at the base because I want to show you guys what I did there as well with the ramps and everything. I think my biggest focus now, for now would be getting purple engines and uh, batteries for the minibike. Because the better those two are, the faster the minibike is. I actually hope the next town we find is either a snow biome or a forest biome. Because those two are easy. Even with lumberjacks running around, it's far better than the wasteland. Even the burnt bi uh, biomes are actually difficult since there are dogs running around. Let's just see where we are. So we are just going straight over. Wait, where is the other drop chest? Show on map. But it's not showing. It says it's here, but it's not showing now. Damn, I wanted to go straight over, but it's too steep. It'll take more, uh, longer to go over than just go around. Okay, so this one as well, I have to take away the drop chest, but replace it with a gravel icon. I think I made the chest on the second floor. Or was it the third floor? I definitely made a chest over here. Oh, that's why I didn't make it, I make it in the hotel, I made it over there. This is the place that gave us the mini bike book. So this place will forever be in our hearts. <laughs> Wait, I definitely made a chest over here. See, that's what's getting me now. It says the drop chest is right here. But it's not. It's missing. I think it's a glitch or something. Oh, here it is. <laughs> so it definitely is here. Uh, let's just take everything we're sure to need. Okay, we'll have to drop quite a few things again. I'm actually expecting the dog horde. Oops, no put this one in here. I'm actually expecting the dog horde to show up since we uh, avoided them uh, yesterday. Damn, not that much space. Um, we have to create more. There's quite a few things upstairs. Let's just do this and then put this in there. I think this is all the items that's still upstairs. Okay, so just this bit of iron I can get rid of and then... I'm not going to try and kill dogs so we can do that to grab this. Wait. No, there should be space now. Um, drop the leather. Since we already have a coat of here, uh, this one's better. Let's grab this one. The wood we can leave for now. This. Ooh. We have iron separately so we can pick up this one. Okay, and that seems to be it. There's nothing else that we need to take with us that's yeah. Um, mechanical parts. We have a ton of cloth at the base. So let's just take the grain alcohol. So now we can take away this drop chest. And replace this sign with gravel and iron. Remember I want to take apart all these shelves in, the, in this building. So I need to put iron so I can remember all these as well. 
Okay, that seems to be it for now. There's just three spaces left, so we need to be careful now. Um, we put that away. Where is the... It's down there. I wonder if we'll be able to reach it if we follow the road. I'm not going to take the chance. I'm just going to try and drive all the way down. But this might be stopping us over here. So let's just hope there's no lake there. Wait, I need to see it on the map. Is it that way? Nope, it's to the right. Okay, so it's southeast. It's hiding behind that icon. That's why I can't see it. No, wait, let's just make sure. Because last time we went in the wrong direction and it cost us dearly with time. So it is the right direction. Let's hope it's in a pleasant biome. Also, cutting over unknown territory like this, we might just come across roads or even better, a town. If we're lucky. Because so far we've been looking for towns by going... Ah, oh no, there's a lake, damn it. We've been looking for towns by going with the roads. But if we avoid the roads, just maybe we can find proper towns. So this one's a major lake. Now the question is to go back or go straight. Going back only leads there. So... Let's see if we follow this road. No. We're just going to keep following the coast, not the road. Because we, uh, if I'm right, then that road will eventually meet up with the uh, coast. Just have to make sure to avoid the water. I don't want to break down in the water with this minibike. Luckily, we have the minibike, so this will take a lot, whole lot faster than just running there on foot. I hope that the coast actually connects to the other side or has a road connecting to it. Otherwise, it's just going to be a waste going in the wrong direction for nothing. Does this end or does it go on? Please let it go on. Seems to end. Damn it. Ooh, there's a road just next to us. For a moment there, I thought we have to go a lot further. If I had the time, I'd loot this house. Remember, I also still plan to do that water house, the lake house. So, <laughs> hopefully we get this whole uh, horde base sorted fast before Alpha 16. Okay, now, since we're on this island, will we able, be able to reach that, or is there another lake? So now, what we need to do is head straight that direction. I just have this feeling that it would have been better to go back to the base and go straight from there. I think the island over there is connected directly to that uh, to the trader. Then again, at least I'm getting a lot of the map sorted now, so that's also a bonus for us. Time consuming, but a bonus. Finally, one of very few forests. For a moment I thought there was a town over there because it's so flat. But I saw a house. Oh, there's nothing over here. It must have been one of the stones just sticking out the ground looking like a house. Okay, now we should be on the same island. Yep, if we follow this road, we should be going straight towards it. Or at least the gravel path connected to it. I still can't believe that we've gone this far and still haven't come across any towns. Only tons and tons of lakes. Okay, now the question is, do I cross this bridge, or this road, or do I go left? Because the trade is there. I think this ends like this, so let's just keep going straight and hope for the best. Yep, there's a road over here, so we can just take that over. See, there's a lot of these roads crossing the water, but other than that, there's no towns. This is a very weird seed. It's actually the first time that I've ever gotten a seed like this. I think this would make an awesome uh, multiplayer server. Just everyone would just play together and then try... Oh, there's another crossing. Everyone just play together and make themselves bases like... Uh, all just water bases. Okay, so this is another gravel and workbench place. So we're going to get past it to mark it. Just going to put it as unlooted. And on the map, we're very close. Okay, finally. 
This should also be connected. We can keep going straight towards the base. So we, uh, we've come from this side, now we go back the other way. I just hope the other way is a lot shorter. Because otherwise it's going to be a hassle reaching the trader every time. I'm going to have to save up and then go to the trader. Okay, so if we take this gravel path, we should reach it. Unless this road bends like this. So let's just go up here and see. Nope, it's one of those long winding roads, so it should go straight to the trade. Uh, no, it doesn't. Let's see if this goes past. Okay, so the gravel road stops, so I was right, the road does make a curve in front. The problem now will be finding the right gravel path to take back to the road. Okay, where's the gate? Finally, after 16 episodes, we've been able to <laughs> finish the last quest. Oh, this is the first time I've actually gotten this trader. Usually I only get the other ones. Let's see what there is to loot over here. Nothing. Coffee beans. Uh, at least we can get some coffee, even though we don't actually use coffee. Thank you. Well, I already know that. Ah, I've been expecting you. I'm just going to sell everything I have on me to make space. Also, guys, remember, sell one at a time of each object so that you can get more barter skill. The jacket I'm going to hold and everything else I sell. Okay, so there's nothing else on me Put that I want to sell. Stranger. Let's quickly see what's in the mini bike that I can sell. Um, brass and the lead I can sell. Let's just refuel this on here. Okay, so the gas I can sell. I have the gas barrels for later. Uh, raw meat I can sell, oil I can sell, and this leather duster. Okay, so if I sell all these and 10 millimeter rounds, I should get quite a pretty penny for the, uh, these items and then hopefully buy something interesting. Your money is welcome here. Sure, the barter skill goes up a lot faster if you sell one at a time, but it still wastes a lot of time. I'm not actually getting a lot for these items. I thought we'd be getting way more. Okay, let's see what it has to sell for us. Uh, I don't need this at the moment because I don't even have steel yet. Gunpowder, I don't need. Sniper rifle barrel. Too bad he doesn't have a, a completed sniper rifle. That would be awesome. Uh, books. Does he have any books? Mini bike we have. This one we have. Tasting and brewing we don't have. Shotgun slug we have. And shotgun we have. Huh. Everything else we actually have already. Okay, so at least this finished the mission for us, and now we can go back to the base by taking the other route, so we'll have more of the map discovered. I wonder what happens if we go straight up. Is there anything there, or how does this all connect? Because there's no road over here, so there has to be a lake. Let's just set it for up here, and then as soon as we hit the lake, we turn right. For a moment there, I wanted to buy some steel, but that's going to be way too expensive. Okay, so there's definitely a lake over here. And it seems to be going on in all the directions. So it goes all the way over there as well. But this seems to be a small lake, so let's see if we go left. Or did I just see the reflections? Yep, seems to be just the reflections, so we'll have to turn around and go to the right side. Also guys, remember when you're on your mini bike, do not hit water because it stalls the bike. You have to get off and then empty your... 
whole mini bike just to get it out of the water. So it wastes a lot of time. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the quality of this video a lot more uh, since I've tweaked the settings a bit. If not, uh, then please let me know. Like I said, if you guys comment, that's the only way I know if the video is bad or not. I actually only not noticed on my own just now that the quality is bad and that's why I tweaked the settings. Okay, this seems to go all the way to this side. It's the hub. So, <laughs> so we have to cross the hub, damn it. The only bad thing about a mini bike is actually the fact that you don't loot, you just drive past stuff. Just another intersection. See, that's all this game or this seed is. Intersections and a lot of uh, water, a lot of lakes. I want to see where our skills are at at the moment. Because we are passing so much stuff that we can loot. Fast Eddie, we can get the next of. So let's get that. And scavenging, nine away. Nine away from getting quality Joe. And we're going past all these cars and stuff that we can loot to get the scavenging up. I should also actually check uh, if I can reach the other side without crossing roads. Because there could be no water in between and then I'm still wasting time by going around it. I think the file size for this episode is going to be tremendous because every time I explore like this it actually runs up the size of the file. Okay, does this go there? Where does this go? I'm going to see if I can go straight up because our base, I'm just going to make sure it's the right one now, is over here. So let's see if I go straight for that red. Please tell me there's no lake. It would be so much easier if we can uh, cross just like that. And the next time we go to the trader we can actually... Okay, so there's a little bit of a lake. Next time we go to the trader we can take a shorter route next to the lake. That's actually why I wish there was a way to buy maps in this game. Then even without exploring you can unlock what's on the map just by buying them. How the hell am I stuck over here? See, we already found kind of a shortcut, so now we can just go straight towards the base. Also, I think during the night I want to dig that tunnel between the main base and the forge house. I've been meaning to do that for a while, but I haven't had the tool strength for that. Even with my steel pickaxe at 320, I think, uh, even with it that high, it t still takes 3 to 4 shots for brick walls. Luckily most of the walls have been damaged by uh, crawler zombies from scream wards. I think when we go exploring we should pay better attention to what's on the road, what we can loot and can't loot. Tell me guys, have you guys ever played a seed before where you haven't fi found that many towns? Or is it just my unlucky gameplay experience this time? Because I swear I've only found that one town and the hub city and both of them are wasteland. Everything else so far, I think I found like eight uh, intersections and all of them have garages. The fact that they have garages uh, make me, uh, makes me think that it's designed to be that way. Uh, the towns and stuff are further apart, like in real life you need to fill up. But on the other hand, it just feels like there are no towns in the seed. Guys, this episode, even though it doesn't feel like we've done much, we've actually done three episodes worth of walking just by driving our mini bike around. Oh, for a moment there I thought I was going to drive into the water. Okay, so basically I want to show you guys this. Um, ooh, the trees look matured. Uh, I made a ramp on the outside and inside of the base over here. And then also I made this ramp here. Just going to show you guys this one. You can actually also jump. But you have to have the full length, otherwise you land in the spikes. It happened to me once. Okay, and look what happens when you fly over. Voila, a wall stopping you from actually landing on the spikes on the other side. Just a better way for us to protect our bike, having it with us all the time. Okay, these trees look like they're 900. They're not 1.2 yet. Okay, so let's read this book. Uh, I have to drop a few things as well. And then off camera I definitely need to sort out my inventories uh, and then I'm going to do the other base. Because during the night I want to connect these two bases so we'll be able to run between them. 
so we're able to have our storage on that side and do all our crafting on this side. It's just a shame we don't have our auger yet. Because with an auger, this would have been so much faster. Okay, so let's drop these. Uh, eh, we'll put the gun parts here for now. Okay, so let's see where are we gonna put the entrance because that needs to be connected to this. I actually want to connect the two houses. So if we do it in this corner over here, we should, if we make a little bit of a turn there, be able to connect to that house. Or even just this house on the other side of the spikes. Okay, so this will need to go. But if I'm not mistaken, you can actually pick this up. Where's the wrench? I almost used the stone uh, steel pickaxe again and would have ended the same as that last workbench. Also guys, um, off camera from the few episodes ago we were crafting cement mix, cr concrete mix. So at least we have a ton that we can use when the time arrives. Next episode I'm going to be placing all these, oops, no, no, no. Replacing all these spikes and upgrading them uh, just to the second level and then we should be ready for the horde. I just wish we had more uh, iron so we can put some iron bars around that place. Okay, so now we need a shovel. The fire we can put say over ah, just next to the wall. Oh, it doesn't make that much of a difference. So put this in there and keep digging. I want to go at least 10 down so that we are more or less safe. One, two, three. Okay, so seven starts with stone. Eight. Nine. Ten. So there'll be one stone layer above our heads. That's cool. I think the steel pickaxe, uh, pickaxes should keep doing this amount of damage. Reason I'm saying that is even if it's at full 600 quality, it still only it still takes two shots to break through the stone. I think that's a cheat. Eh? <laughs> they nerfed it so much. It used to be able to one shot a, a brick or a block of stone. Only problem being if this leads somewhere, I'm not gonna go for it because I want to just make this a. Hmm. I just want to make this my tunnel, I don't want to make it my mine as well. We'll mine in a different place away from the bases. Ooh, mining tools is 11 away from being able to get the last minor 69er. I think in my spare time I'm going to put a roof over this and then make it, instead of a 2x1, I'm going to make it a 3x3. That's excluding the floor and roof and walls. So it's going to be a 5x5. Five five. Guys, I know we did a lot of driving around this episode, but this episode is mainly to test the quality, the new quality settings. Oh, we're halfway there. So, uh, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. If you have any comments, especially on the settings at the moment, do you think the quality is a lot better now or not? Please leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe for more of this content. See you guys next time.